Good morning, kids. Uh, this morning, uh, since I almost lost my quad last weekend, fortunately, we found it on the, the roof of a building. And fortunately, extremely fortunately, it landed on a net covering of a little uh, cafeteria atrium that we have here. Uh, otherwise, we would have had to uh, pick up some pieces, even if we found it at that point. Uh, we used the uh, FPV signal as best we could, 5.8 gigahertz, and that kind of uh, narrowed it down since it's pretty much line of sight. Uh, when we got nice clear signal, we know we were getting close. So anyway, it was located, but then after that I started uh, researching some uh, locator uh, items, uh, like pet locators, GPS trackers, what have you, and I found... Um, through my searches, this thing called a locator, and it, uh, that's what it is, I don't know if you can see it, okay, this low, L-O-C-8-T-O-R, got it off of Amazon, it was, uh, I think about 70 some dollars anyway, comes with two little fobs on it, uh, I, we played with it inside the building here at work. Uh, briefly and it uh, it works there's a lot of bounce inside the building so I got some false readings uh, so this morning we're going to do a test out of doors and what it is uh, I'm at work uh, this is a parking lot between the two buildings what I'm going to be doing is facing that side uh, just looking out at the salt flats while another buddy, flying buddy, goes and hides it somewhere between that building and that building uh, all the way up to the street there. So that's, uh, you can see a car going by, I'm going to guess that's probably about a hundred yards, maybe a little more. Uh, so anyway, it'll be somewhere in here. I won't know where, uh, but it will be between... Um, what I can reach here and ground level and uh, hopefully he'll remember where he puts it in case we have a little mishap and we'll test the locator so normally when you're flying you're gonna know approximately you know where the thing was whenever your craft went down so uh, that will get the, the starting point give me a nice uh, maybe a 90 degree 100 degree area in which to start and uh, we'll do an evaluation of the locator as soon as it gets here. Okay, later. All right, I forgot to show you. What I have done on the uh, quad that was lost and found, uh, I got the locator on here. It's just a little bitty fob thing sitting right here. If you can see that in the sun and all that. Anyway, that's, that's it, just hanging there. It's got a little... Uh, stretchy cord uh, is just uh, hooked on there right now uh, because I came unprepared with any double sticky tape. Uh, I have tie wraps but uh, I, don't know. I don't know how the tie wrap would even hold the thing on. I'd have to use double sticky tape and a small tie wrap uh, just try to keep that in space. Anyway, hopefully we'll never have to use these things but uh, we're doing the test to find out if we do have to use them. Uh, how well this locate tour will work and uh, actually that'll be my review. No unboxing, just a review of uh, how the thing works in a uh, similar situation of a lost uh, RC aircraft. And I see my buddy just pulling into the parking lot so in a few minutes we're going to do the test. Bye. Hey homie! <laughs> Morning. Good morning. <laughs> Okay, the reason I'm starting over here is I want to do this little test first. Oh, this is the old one then. Yeah, this is this is the uh, the locator. Oh, that's the locator. Yeah, that's the locator. This is the little fob. This is number one. Oh, I, just, I put number two on the quad. And... Uh, oh, I thought this was the camera. No, that's the you, locator. You the old, old 806 camera looks like that. <laughs> This is, this is the, I got my, I'm doing a video on this. This is the handheld unit, the little credit card looking thing. 
Uh -huh. You turn this on and you push whatever number you want to locate. I've only got number one and number two. Uh -huh. And as you move this thing around, supposedly, and uh, you get various LEDs and uh -huh. some chirping when you get closer and all that. And, and this has a switch? No, uh, this, it's actually that is activated when you push the, uh, the start button on this. Oh, this always in standby? It's always in standby. So oh. uh, what I was going to do is I'm going to face this area, this lovely swampy uh, salt flats. And what I wanted you to do is just go somewhere, building to building, all the way to the sidewalk and put it someplace. Okay. okay. Some place between, you know, here so I can reach it and ground level. Okay. And then when you get back here, we'll see if we can find it. Don't forget where you put it just in case. <laughs> okay, so off you go. Okay, he said he was ready. So, if that, uh, let's see, I have number two on the quad. So, if I do this right, push the button, hold it for a couple of seconds to turn the power on. There's the power. You got a little red blinking light there, and now I'm going to push number one. And it blinks fast to say it's activating the, the fob. And pretty soon, oh, uh, come on. Pretty soon. So is it alive at least? Does it get any? Well, it's, it's blinking fast. I think it's supposed to be turning it on. I'm just going to get over in the shadow here so I can see it better myself. Oh, it doesn't even get it. Okay, so you will have to get in range then. Well, it should be uh, easy to be pick up in range here. Oh, maybe I am mean, that, that's why. It's not that far away. Okay, let's see, we're, we're trying to find uh, the envelope, let me see. Uh, it's, uh, maybe oh. I'm supposed to hold the button longer then. Well, let's say, you, you know it's at least 50, 50 steps, 50 yards ahead, right? I can give you that hint. Well, I should, uh, yeah, when we were doing it in the, in the office, uh, it didn't keep blinking and it would turn on uh, some of these rows of LEDs. Maybe oh, I just okay. need to hold let, the button let, Let's go closer. We know now it doesn't... Oh, 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 I hear. I see the, I see the blinking. Well, that's, that's supposed to turn the thing on, the little fob dealy. Okay, but this blinking red is, has a meaning? It's, it's trying to ping? It's trying to ping it, yeah, to see... But no uh, answer. Uh, ...to turn it on. Maybe we, we have out of range or low signal, okay? Let, let's get closer, see, see when we get it. All right, let's just kind of walk in this direction. Yeah, it's, it's your wild guess, this should be ahead, right? Oh, you, 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 I can make a shade. Well, I don't, I don't shadow here. here. Well, so far, unless I'm just not pushing the buttons correctly. Oh, wait a minute! I got, I got the last little LED here uh -huh, blinking. Okay, so you got in range. Okay. okay, now it's blinking. Oh, you see? Which one? Yeah, okay, let's just keep going this direction now. Okay. I'm trying to peek. See the, the ah, last the one first one. Blinking the first now? one. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's a light. So it's just a keep, light. we'll just keep going in this direction. Oh, now I got a second one. Okay, getting closer. Okay, but now what I'm going to do is see if. Okay, no lights that way. Got a light straight ahead. And it goes out that way. So I'm guessing it's still in this direction somewhere. I thought I was getting two lights there for a brief period. 
well now you have to decide is left or right okay let's we'll just kind of go either way direction well that's that's there's nothing that way there's the little red one red light there up oh. two Okay, there's two red lights going that direction. Mm -hmm. A good red one. Still looks like it's in that sort of direction. I can say. I know. Oh, it, it shut itself off. It does that after a, a certain amount of time. So, okay, now, oh! Now I, I got three lights. So now I'm gonna... Okay, they're gone off there. I got three lights there. Gone off. So I'm getting almost four lights in this direction. Oh. Three lights, good solid lights. Well, sort of. Four. Four is blinking. Now I'm going to just kind of move side to side. They're gone away. That's the four lights that direction. They're gone away. So, I think I'm still going in the right direction here. Oh, I'm, I've lost them. Nothing there. Pointing right at you. Are you carrying it with you? No. no. <laughs> I wouldn't trick you like that. Okay, I'm I'm getting the the strongest signal still in this direction. It just Okay, I got the strongest in this direction now. At some point, you know, you're going to have to do a visual and just take your eyes off this thing. Oh, now I got more lights. Oh, it went off again. It goes to sleep. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, I can't remember the time that it's on and off. And all. Okay, there we go again. Yeah, I would say at some point you have to take your eyes off of this thing and actually look around. Looks like it's sort of over here. Okay, now, now I. That's I gone away. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, it's going there. There's the strongest one. Yeah, I, I gotta be right on top of it somewhere. Alright! Oh, <laughs> we found it! We found it! Uh, let's see. Yep, I don't know if you can see it in the sun there, but uh, let's do it. Uh, the little red LEDs blinking on it. There's actually a sound on this thing, but my hearing isn't that great and I can't hear it. But uh, I'm going to shut this off now. Hold the power button for a couple of seconds. It's on standby. The, the, the little fob went off. The LEDs off on that. I'm still red blinking slowly on here, so that means it still has power on. It'll go off by itself after a little while. If I hold this button for a few seconds, 
There's no indication other than the light stops blinking mm -hmm. in that location, so that's mm -hmm. turned off. All right, well, I good. would say that worked. Good. All right. But, uh, you see, I, I, I was mean. You see, I, I hid it behind this metal. Well, you know, you I... Uh, so, so that I wanted to shield it. Uh, but, but that's the trick. That's okay. real life, yeah. You, uh, you, you never know if it's going to be on the other side of a car somewhere. Right. So <coughs> I went from there, but you see, when you have this, the limits the range because you have to come like half the way to get the first. I'd contact. say we were good. Uh, well, actually, yeah, behind. Well, behind the metal. That's why I wasn't getting anything back there. But I knew it was somewhere over here. We knew that. Yeah. So I so, said, okay, I know it's somewhere over here. So I just go in that direction. And what would you say? We're about a uh, good 60 yards, maybe. Yeah. When you made the first contact, well, we see it's all in the movie. <laughs> yeah. So uh, anyway, this is going to be my YouTube review of the Locator. Uh, little fob, little credit card looking receiver daily bob, and I'd say it works. Uh, I hopefully will never have to put this to use in a real life situation. But it's nice to know you have this as an aid in locating it if you need to. I have to say, you know who would love something like this is my daughter. She's always looking for her car. <laughs> well, you know, I've, I've seen the little advertisement stuff on this. And, you know, guys put it on their remotes, their car keys, their pets, uh, their wives, you know, and find out where they are. Uh, I'm just kidding about like the wife mom. thing. <laughs> So, okay, so it wasn't 70 some dollars tossed away. It, it works after a fashion. And actually, there's a guy that had the locator uh, on a reflecting dish. Uh huh. Uh, uh, yeah. Sort of a, a yeah, curved part. And he had it at a certain distance. I don't know what, yeah, whatever the focal thing. distance is. And he had it pointing to the reflector. And he was able to pinpoint that thing uh, very closely. Very sharp. So uh, it would be a little bulky to carry around because it would be as, about as big as the lid of this uh, plastic oh, yeah, box. The, 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 from, uh, let's say a dish network or whatever, it's like three feet. Uh, yeah, well his was kind of a rectangular looking uh, thing. Uh, it was just, you know, aluminum uh, flat okay. bar. Uh, probably yeah, just can a... make it from plywood or whatever, or yeah. foam or whatever. And put some foil on it. Oh, foam! There, that would be nice and lightweight. Put some foil on it and just yeah. locate the focal distance of it and... Right, maybe you, you make like like three of let's say four four petals. Yeah, yeah. It ha doesn't have to be perfect. Just yeah. So anyway, and I, I was <laughs> thinking something like that, having like we mentioned on on your uh, goggles, right? And uh -huh, shark, uh -huh. and your oh shark, yeah. To have something behind the shark. So oh yeah, I, I, there's all sorts of plans. Okay, let me shut this video camera off.